Hello everyone, I'm Naz on the day that Team GB return home from the Rio Olympics. They touched down in London this morning on a special gold nose plane and that's not all. Stay tuned because we've just been answering your questions. This is News Road. <laughs> <laughs> I cracked up before the end. <laughs> Yes, well, Team GB have returned home from their record-breaking Olympics in Rio. They're bringing back 67 medals. That's two more than London 2012. Well, this morning, 320 athletes and staff landed at Heathrow Airport. The plane renamed Victorious in honour of Team GB. On board, the athletes returning from Great Britain's best overseas Olympics ever. Gold medalist gymnast Max Whitlock and boxer Nicola Adams were first off the plane, followed by the rest of the team. Waiting for them in the terminal, their loved ones. Social media, we could feel how much support there was. But it's not until you get back here how much how much we really had, so it's good to be here. To have this reception coming home from, a, from an away game, uh, it, we're, we're realising it now. Kind of literally in this moment, we're seeing how big it was at home, and for us that's so special. We just had no idea about how much impact it's had on the general public. In terms of like you know coming off the plane, the plane experience was amazing. Like we had a great time, and then coming into uh, Heathrow, we kind of looked out the window and was like, wow, there's a lot of people out there. And uh, then we stood and you know had photos of our medals, and we were walking through the airport, and there were like 500 people applauding us as we walked in. It was a really, really nice feeling. Two athletes who arrived back earlier are golden couple Jason Kenny and Laura Trott. The cyclist pair have an incredible 10 gold medals between them. They stopped by News Around HQ this morning to answer some of your questions with Aisha. Into the finishing straight, up towards the line. Jason Kenny's got it. Laura Trott, the first British woman ever to win three Olympic Massive congratulations on your medal haul. It's been absolutely incredible watching you. I've got to ask how you're feeling after getting those gold medals. Oh, honestly, it was incredible. It was the most kind of amazing feeling, especially having Jason there as well and Jason taking his sixth gold medal. Um, and it was nice that we could do it together as well. Yeah, it's amazing, obviously, and like Laura said, doing it together, you know, being able to enjoy each other's success is obviously really special. Mariam, who's 11, said, I'd like to take up cycling, but my mum says it's too late. Could you start? at any age. Yeah, definitely. 11's not too old. Um, just go down to like your local club. Any kind of British Cycling Associated club, get, get yourself down there. What encouraged you to start riding in the first place? Um, well, my mum actually chose it as a form of losing weight. Um, so I got in it kind of like a family kind of sport, I guess. I just like doing it. Uh, my uncle took me down to the velodrome and just joined a kids club and just loved riding my bike. So just got into it for, for pure enjoyment. Nicholas, who's 10, says, Jason, how many bikes do you have? <laughs> Um, well, we have a garage full of bikes, but we, I only actually own one. For us, we don't actually own our bikes. Um, we get given them and then we have to give them back. <laughs> so we're cyclists that don't have a bike. <laughs> <laughs> that is so bizarre. Never. Great question. Great question from <laughs> Nicholas. Annabelle, who's 11, says, Laura, what advice would you give to an 11-year-old girl who wants to be a track Olympian? Um, just to carry on and keep enjoying it, I guess. And like I said, I guess earlier, just to join a local club. Um, they're so helpful in getting you kind of to that next step and like a great way to kind of get on the British cycling programme. And like, obviously, with them, one, one step kind of leads to another. Brooke, who's 10, she's asking, how did you meet? And was it love at first sight? <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Um, it wasn't love at first sight. I didn't like Jason to start with. <laughs> he never even spoke to me. <laughs> what, what do you have to say for yourself, mister? Um, I never said hello to anyone. So. <laughs> I can't help being grumpy. But, yeah, ultimately, it all worked out all right in the end. It did work out all right in the end. I am so glad that she asked that question because I would not be brave enough to. Well, tomorrow we're interviewing three more Rio Olympians and we want your questions. We're speaking to gold medal synchro dry divers uh, Jack Law and Chris Mears, as well as trampolinist Bryony Page, who won silver. Head over to the Newsround website and tell us what you want to ask them. That's all from me and Newsround's back bright and early tomorrow morning. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.